it's just <sighs> why please. why does cycle hit have a 500 notes for easy <laughs> It's a little yeah, much just this. for easy, I've got to say. <laughs> Seeing as you know, um, Was that easy, supposed to be words? I couldn't hear you. Maybe like 200. What? Seeing as like, you know, basic songs. Mm hmm. Have like 200. Yeah, max. that's. That's a. So, cycle hit on easy is crab rave on hard. <laughs> All right, um... Sure, here we go. Okay. Oh my god, I couldn't see- I could not see that note. It was too dark and it blended in. <laughs> oh, I remember this song. This is an interesting sound. I want to adjust the orange of my walls. We need to be just a tad bit lighter. I wanted to tighten the back of my head and so I uh, hit that with the wrong color. This is the most boring, repetitive thing. What, it on easy? Yes. <laughs> Happens. Like, I can't wait to play this on hard. <laughs> I can't wait to play it on normal. <laughs> No, but just imagine how that that little section we just went through mm -hmm. sounds. Mm -hmm. Feel. <laughs> Bailey is becoming one with the song. I want to know what they're saying in the song because it sounds like they're saying something, and it wouldn't make sense for that to be what this song is about. I think they're like, speaking Korean or something. Oh, I thought it was Japanese. It might be. I'm not sure. I don't have my Asian languages down. Can I identify a European language, like, super easy? I can't. But I can't identify... I can't identify the differences between Asian languages. Yeah, it's definitely English, but they're saying something about school, and I don't understand. Or something about being a student. Because Gako is school, but Gakusei would be student, I'm pretty sure, unless I was teacher. Can't remember. I didn't hear a sensei in there. No, not sensei, Gakusei. Oh. Because there is... Oh God, there's still two more minutes of this song. Shit. I know. Because there is three different versions with Gaku in it. There is Gaku, obviously, for school. But then there is uh, the one that would mean teacher, student, and then, like, life. And I don't, I don't quite recall. It's been a minute since I've looked at those flashcards. So... <laughs> I won it. And it also just sounds like Tried Japanese because... It did not work out too well. I mean, it's Russian. <laughs> it's because their alphabet is insane. Well, I mean, so is Japanese. <laughs> you know how many alphabets they have? Yeah, but Japan... Uh, what's it? Like, their alphabet, their kanjis, how many do they have? Like, they Who are you talking about for Japanese? Yeah. They've got, like, over 3,000 kanji. And most native Japanese people don't even know them. 
Mm -hmm. But there's hiragana, katakana, and um, kanji. But like, <laughs> there's so there's like a uh, fifty. Uh, syllabaries, which is what their alphabet's called. Alphabaries, syllabaries, I mean, per uh, section. And then there's just the bajillion kanjis. And it's like, yeah. oh my god. Oh, but it's also obnoxious because, so like, you know how with uh, us, we have like, uh, like, casual talk and then like being polite you know and then we have yeah. like slang and stuff but everyone has slang we have but casual formal and slang yeah basically but with japanese there's the casual there's formal there's slang and then in business environments there's three different versions of of the language that you have to like change how your sentence structure is depending on it how like if you are the boss you need to show them that you are superior by using this version if you are under him you need to use this version to show that you are weaker than him if you're even under that you need to use a different one all of these are different st sentence structures <laughs> Holy shit. and it's all just to show the other person that i am superior than you <laughs> oh. and it's like <laughs> that's so much it's so unnecessary <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. I got your stream up. Woohoo! <sighs> but I like Japanese though because it's there isn't any silent l letters. It's like oh that that that, that letter is there but you don't hear it. Mm -hmm. Like, with Japanese, like, the most thing that would be confusing is that there's a couple different syllabaries that you use, but instead of it being normal sized, you make it ever so slightly smaller, and then you combine it with either the syllable behind it or in front of it to make it a different sound. So that's the complicated part. <laughs> I heard that on... Um like, if you just pronounce something slightly different, it means something completely different. Probably. Are you ready for normal? <laughs> I was eating some pork because the pork is delicious. Mm. Then I will do normal while you eat. Okay. Okay. You see how dark those first notes are, though? <laughs> I would love to. <laughs> But you know, are you like really behind, or is it Internet buffering? Is, it's buffering. Gotcha. So it's doing what it always does. You should look up what this is saying. Okay. Oh, holy shit, those are dark. Yeah. I mean, this is me making him brighter. Like, picture them being literal black voids. That's how the first couple songs were. Holy shit. <laughs> Where you only see the triangle. <laughs> There's a little fuzzy on my carpet, and it's really annoying because it's going right between my toes. Apparently my phone is being an absolute retard. Just so you know, you're a little quiet, and they might not be able to hear you on stream. Yeah, I have I have my uh, my visor up, so it's a little further away from me. Okay, I just wanted to let you know that they might not be able to hear you. Well, it's good for you know me eating. I mean, true. 
if you say something like important i'll just re reiterate it <laughs> that way in case they okay. couldn't they did now by the way i have an ss thus far Okay, yeah, I agree. I am a little quiet. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, you're a little quiet by my standards, which means you're gonna be even quieter. Because, it, like, all the- you know how there's, like, all those times when, like, I hear myself in the background of somebody else's, uh, side? Yeah. When I look back at the VODs, more often than not, you cannot hear my echo. Like, I can hear it, but somehow it doesn't translate to the stream. Like, it's just too quiet for it to pick up. I could tell. Um, apparently, it's a Japanese baseball chant with different names being chanted before each drop. That's basically what it sounded like, because I was going to say it earlier, but then I cut myself off for one reason or another. It sounds, one reason why I was saying that it sounded Japanese is because in many, many in anime, when they go to say, uh, like when they're chanting for somebody they're, and they're just like, you can do it such and such. They they do it just like this. Hmm. Yeah, some, some person on um, Reddit thought it sounded Russian or Slavic. It's like, no, that's obviously Asian of some sort. <laughs> right. Is there a lyrics? Like a lyrics.com type of thing? It doesn't have it. Uh, I'm curious what it's saying. Because one would assume that it's just saying that person's name, that person's name, you can do it. But this. It's all of the singers. It's all of the people listed up as singers on the song. Hmm, huh, interesting. I was gonna say, you could go to uh, Google Translate and we could find out what Gakusei meant, since I. Because I know how to spell it, I just can't recall what it actually says. Oh, Gakusei meaning. Hmm? G A K O U S E I. S S. Full everything. I'm. You can knock on his door and see if he's home. What? Fine. And you're saying it's got from say? Yeah. S E I and for the end. Yeah, that's what I, I have. And it's all one word? Mm-hmm. It apparently means thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that's a weird version of thank you I've never heard them use. I mean it would make sense for what you said the meaning of the song was, but I've never heard that being a thank you. Yeah. Apparently it's used when you enter someone's house or room in a situation that means thank you. Huh. It's also commonly used when you interrupt somebody. <laughs> um, in this situation it means excuse me. Interesting. Oopsie, I'm doing these black ones the wrong direction. Um, I'm trying to remember what the common, like if you're entering someone's house, I know what the word is. I just have to think about it for a second. Whoopsie, I went too fast. Uh, I cannot remember right off the top of my head for some reason.
okay, it also means student. Okay, so I was right. I am so very confused. <laughs> I think it just depends on what the rest of the sentence is as to what it means. Like the context. Yeah. Like how we have three different theirs, but if they're all spelled the same. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> I mean, they have some words that do that. Mm -hmm. Like, um, lead and lead. Oh, true. Or, uh, read and read. Well, they technically mean the same thing, they're just different senses. Yeah, but it is still the same spelling, but can mean something different, depeening. Depeening? Depeening. Yep. I know there's another one that I can't remember. Homonyms is the word I'm looking for. Oh. Homonym. I feel like I'm back in high school English. Alright, class, let's do some homonyms. Well, there's left and left. True. There's pen and pen. What was it? Oh. Oh, yeah. I. It took me a second to figure out what it was you said, because it well, almost sounded like there's you... There's three. There are three for that one. Yeah? Because there's pen as in like the thumbtack, there's pen as in the writing utensil, and then there's pen as in the thing that animals stay in. But pen as in the thumbtack is with an I. It is. Instead of an E. Well, homonyms apparently are just words that sound like each other. Oh, okay. They have. Uh, homonyms are basically words that have the same spelling or same pronunciation but different meanings. Gotcha. Um, there's envelope and env envelope. They're both spelled the same. True, true. I mean, they both have a similar meaning because with an envelope, you're well, enveloping envelope the paper. Is a noun. Is, right. And the other would be a verb. Word. You could say that's okay. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure one what you said. One is a noun and one is a verb. Indeed. There's rose. Mm hmm. Um, God, I love that thing. The air pressure is awesome. I was gonna say, if we're just going off of how it sounds, there's lay. Then there's also lie. True. Which I always thought was weird when it, someone would be like, I'm gonna go lie down. I'm like, no, tell the truth. <laughs> Ugh. For some reason, this is just throwing me off. It got randomly faster all of a sudden, and my brain just wasn't expecting it. <laughs> also, there's tear. Tear and tear. Oh, true. That would have been unfortunate if I lost right at the end. Pronunciation. Um. I missed 30 notes. Saw. True. Um, I don't get to know. I wonder if I'm even on the board. Oh, I have no idea. Alright, I'm gonna do What the Cat. Oh. I'm still looking at homonyms. <laughs> <laughs> and Wikipedia has a whole article devoted to a list of true homonyms. Hello. Oh my god, there. 255 on their list. There's bank. True. Um. Change. Mm hmm. Entrance and entrance. Well, 
I'm just gonna flamingo stand apparently because my knee started hurting. <laughs> it's gr true. True. That's that's a fun one. Yo. There's three if you count. There's three for that one if you count uh, a different spelling. Hmm. There's heel as in, like, the bottom of your foot. Mm -hmm. Heel as the command for dog. And then there's heel for, like, illnesses. Mm hmm. I feel like I'm skiing. Fair. Fair. As soon as I turn my sabers over to actually ski, the, the notes come. <laughs> the more you know. Okay, fine. Make me add that again. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try and remind you. <sighs> yes. Why? Yeah. No, she doesn't care. What? Well, my mom wants to wear, wear a September 11th shirt for tomorrow when they go to the Apple Farm. Hmm. She wanted to know if my sister was gonna freak out if she wore it. Hmm. I feel like it's been long enough that you shouldn't have to worry about that. No, my sister freaks out because of, you know, political and military nah. uh, stuff with it. Well, I got another SS. Noise. Mm -hmm. I see you. Uh, I'm, I'm a little behind, so I see you dancing. <laughs> Probably. 